Samsung offers a versatile feature-rich keyboard which not many of us use it to its fullest potential, isn't it? In this video, I would like to share 7 tips which might help many of us who have not yet explored the keyboard completely. First one is rearranging icons on the toolbar. As you can see, here we have got this toolbar right on top of the keyboard. These icons can be easily rearranged and you can add or remove these icons on the toolbar. As you can see, when I press and hold it, I will be able to move them around. I can change its position. Depending on your preferences, you can place these icons here. Now to add more icons on this toolbar, all you need to do is just press these three dots here. We have got all these icons, all these functions here. We have search, handwriting, voice input, Samsung Pass, clipboard, text editing, modes, keyboard size, bitmoji, anything you want, you can easily place them on the toolbar. Just press and hold on the icon and drag them onto the toolbar here. As you can see, I'm able to add an additional icon here. Likewise, I can add many icons on the toolbar here. By doing this, we will be able to get a quick access to all those functions you want right from the toolbar. Every time we don't have to tap on this three dot and go to the particular function you want, which definitely takes additional couple of seconds. So do try this out. It might be useful for some of you guys. Next one is enabling alternative characters on the keyboard. To enable this, let's go to the settings. Let's scroll down and tap on layout. Here we have got an option for alternative characters. This toggle is turned off by default. When I turn it on, you can see all the alternative characters are shown on the keyboard here. This becomes easier for us to see which alternative character is available on which particular key. We can just press and hold on that particular key and add that alternative character while typing. That's a very handy feature again, you should check this out. Next tip is about touch and hold delay on the keyboard. Again, let's go to the settings here. We have got swipe, touch and feedback option when you scroll down. We will tap on this. Here we can see we have an option for keyboard touch and hold delay. Now by default, it is set to medium. Here we will be able to customize the touch and hold delay on the keyboard. Let me first show you what exactly is this touch and hold delay all about. Let's go back to the keyboard now. As you can see, we have already set the alternative characters on the keyboard here. Let's say I want a particular alternative character, uh, let's say percentage. So this percentage character is available on F key here. And when I press and hold on this, I will be able to see this percentage character. I will just swipe my finger and release it to add that particular character while typing. Now this is touch and hold delay. Now this can be customized to increase the response time in the settings. Again, let's go back to the settings. Let's go to swipe touch and feedback. Here we have got keyboard touch and hold delay. Let's tap on that. Uh, at the bottom we have custom. Now you can choose any of these. We can choose short 0.2 seconds, uh, medium which is by default 0.3 seconds, long 0.5 seconds, but I would prefer a quicker response. So I will customize this. I'll tap on customize. Here we can just tap on this area here and set a particular time here. So as you can see, I will set less than 0.2 seconds here. Let me save it here. Now let's go back to the keyboard and see how is the response time. As you can see, the response is pretty fast. As in when I type and hold it, instantly it shows the alternative characters here. That is cool, isn't it? This will definitely help us type faster. The next tip is about cursor control. Again, let's go to the settings. Let's go to swipe, touch and feedback. Here we have got keyboard swipe control option. When we tap on that, we have got no swipe gestures. We have swipe to type, which we usually enable it and we use that feature. And below that, we have got cursor control. It says, slide your finger across the keyboard to move the cursor, tap the shift key and slide to select text. Not available on all keyboards and layouts. Now, when I select this particular feature, let's see what happens. Let's go back to the keyboard and type something here. Now, when I swipe my fingers across the keyboard, you see this cursor is moving over here. I will be able to place this cursor wherever I want by just swiping my finger on the keyboard here. Now, what I'll do is I will press and hold the shift key. I will swipe the finger on the keyboard here. As you can see, I'm able to select the text by doing this. So this particular feature on the keyboard enables us to move the cursor as well as select the text by just pressing and holding on the shift key. The next tip is about a function associated with the space bar. Again, let's head over to settings. Let's go to swipe, touch and feedback. Here we have touch and hold space bar. It says no action. 
cursor control, touch and hold, then drag up to show a virtual keypad. Then we have got voice input. So now I will select cursor control. Let's go back to the keyboard. As you can see, when I press and hold on the space bar, I have got cursor control here. I can swipe the finger on this area to move the cursor around. So that's again a cool handy feature on the space bar. All right, now let's go to the next one. Again, this feature is on swipe touch and feedback option on the keyboard. Let's go to the settings, open swipe touch and feedback. Here we have got a toggle to keep symbol panel open. It says when you touch and hold the period key, keep the panel open after a symbol is selected so you can enter more than one symbol at a time. Let me just enable this and show you how it works. Let's go back to the keyboard as you can see, we have got a full stop and we have got a comma. These are the two period keys we have on the keyboard. When I tap and hold on this and release the finger, we will be able to see all these characters in this window and it doesn't close. This enables us to add more than one characters easily as the window will remain open until you close it. Now the last but not the least, this is a very useful feature so this is about text shortcuts. I'm sure many of you guys would know this, but may not be using it. It's a very handy feature, so you guys should check out. Let me show you how it works. Let's go to settings again. Let's tap on more typing options. As you can see, we have got text shortcuts option here. I'll just tap on this. It says create shortcuts for frequently used phrases. Type a shortcut to see it as a text suggestion. For example, you could set example at samsung.com to be suggested when you type email. So it's a very simple thing. I'm gonna show you how it works. Now, as you can see, I have already set a shortcut here. As you can see, I have TY. When I type TY, it automatically shows me the suggestion, thank you. So that is how we are gonna do it. So let me tap on plus here. Here under shortcut, I'll just type HAD and at the bottom I'll type the expanded phrase as how are you doing? Now what happens is when I just type H-A-D-E on the keyboard, it is gonna suggest me how are you. This is just an example. You can type whichever shortcut you want and you can add any expanded phrase you want. It's a very handy tool. You can just key in the alphabets. You will be able to see the expanded phrase there, whichever you have created and easily tap on that to add that phrase on the keyboard while typing. It saves a lot of time. You don't have to type the entire phrase. You can create n number of shortcuts and add them here under shortcuts section on the keyboard settings. It's again a very, very useful feature which all of us should use. All right. So these are the seven tips which I wanted to share in this video. You guys leave a comment and let us know any other additional tips you want to suggest that would definitely benefit the community. That's all I wanted to share in this video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you're new on the channel, make sure to subscribe to watch some cool contents on Samsung Galaxy phones, Android applications and anything related to technology. Don't forget to smash that like button if you find this video useful. That's about it. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.